Hello everyone, Jerry, Old Guys Review. Well, tonight is just going to be a little summary, a little wrap up, in particular, on the CR12 from Team Associate. So I know you're looking, if you just looked at the last video and you're like, what in the hell? Something different. Can't put my fingers on it. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. With my trucks, detailing them is where I get my most relaxation. When I'm just doing repairs, ripping axles apart, that is just required maintenance. It's not as fun as just, oh, I'm going to do something. I'm just going to sit here and detail. And the twofold is that I had three trucks simultaneously getting tinkered on while this was being painted and you got to wait for it to dry. And I didn't have pristine weather, but I'll get into that later. But I'll just show you a little tinkering. And I'm going to answer a question from Hello RC because. Obviously, his mind is going the same place mine went with this vehicle. So, overall now, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, five days so far of driving this. And except for the tires that I don't like, they may be better in different surfaces. I was making little crawler tracks here in the house, in the shop, was just having a field day with it because it was going over everything until I got my little board out. I was going to do some incline driving and this thing, I, I blame it more on my board, but the 802 went up my board better than this did. But these tires, they're just not super grippy and they just break loose and there's no foams, there's no grip in my opinion. But just to do a little, a little looky-loo. So I did up the front bumper, textured, painted a different color so it's not all black. Did the differentials did the running boards in the same color you'll see those better if, when I open up the lid since there was just so much black on it I did the roll bar rear rack and chrome just did some hand brushing on these panels oh I missed a spot I'm gonna touch that up put some stickers on it of course being a big Bigfoot person, I had to put the Bigfoot hunting team on there. A few stickers on the body. I'm not big on stickers, but this truck just, for what I'm going to use it for, it just seemed right. And then you got to go with some little bumper stickers, little license plate, little reckless back here in the back. Did up that rear differential. It's just little, just little things. Oy. Did the same thing on that side, just to make it different from all the other ones. I guess, according to you eagle-eyed viewers, the tires are different. So the tires and the body, the body's the only thing I saw was different. The uh, the spec sheet didn't really whip out anything too new from what I saw in other ones. Did up the wheels. Wow, look at all those screws. That would suck for real. Used a little element sticker. Thought that'd be okay for the uh, team associated. And then the shocks, I put 30 weight shock oil in it. I think I'm going to drop down to 25 weight. 25 is the lightest I have. 
but these this truck in particular is uh, so light oh there it is 1.9 wheels sorry it got off topic but this vehicle is so light but what it came with for shock oil it was ridiculous the springs the springs wouldn't even stay in there it was just so floppy it would just fall right over on its side so I'm probably going to for the third time take off the shocks put some 25 weight in it see if that's any better but I was using batteries battery packs I was using hump packs all kinds of stuff to make you know obstacles for the truck and it did really well other than that incline I'm assuming that outside it, it could be pretty entertaining but as you know I go through things that's why I prefer instead of just pulling it out of the box and saying this is terrific I like putzing with it for a few days and seeing if anything jumps out at me and being that when I, you look at stuff so it's a two channel radio but it comes with a four channel receiver which is nice because there's already lights plugged into one and you still have an extra channel you could plug in some more lights if you want to there's my textured running boards this these Dean's connectors on this battery or it's the male plug it is fiddly why well, you gotta mess with it to get it to plug in right but I'm gonna tell you this lithium-ion battery is just keeps going strong I mean I'm only running it maybe 10 15 minutes at a time but I've only charged it twice so I'm gonna have to really put a timer on it and just run it and run it and run it and see how long this thing lasts but other than that, just for a couple days of playing around with it, as you saw from the last video, it looks great for 112 scale. Oh, here you can see those. Well, I guess you can kind of see them. They're nice and dirty already. Put a little clevis on the front because it's going to be Hopefully, well, my 802 recovers a lot. He's going to get in a lot of trouble. But let's move on to the question from Hello RC. Of course, he's got the rigs. And he wants to know how they look. And that's a poor view, so let's move that one there. Let's move that one there. Mm -hmm. so we're more in line with the camera so there you go doesn't look too bad it looks like what I would assume a big lifted up regular size truck would look like the body to me seems a little wide a little wider than it should be but I don't think it would be overall terrible if you want something to drive with your semis I mean let's just do a quick comparo again I like saying that word so if we go we've got basically seven inches and five inches so it is it's two inches wider doesn't look like that to me though but for $185, you can't really go wrong. I was trying to compare it with one of my 118s, but that's a short course, yeah, a short course truck. So the body goes over the tire, so it I always thought it looked good from a uh, sideways view. But uh I'm not so sure now. But 
You know, you don't see many big jacked up trucks driving down the road. To compare it with a semi, I always think with my truck, it's got 20 inch wheels on it and it's, I'm usually sitting a little below the cab is what I seem to have noticed. So being that these represent a lot bigger tires, the roof, well, the roof is just a little way up the door. You do a little peek so maybe so there you go hello RC there is your Comparo of these two trucks I'm trying to get you the best view so I don't want you coming after me if I give you poor information but while I was tinkering with this and I was moving trucks around, wiping down shelves, got my 802 where I want it now. I even took it out twice. The first time was embarrassing because I've learned with my other lipos, they cut you down to 50% and then they just stop. With the HG802, it gives you a little warning beep because you don't really notice the drop in speed it gives you a little warning beep that you really can't hear because the engine sound is drowning it out so I've been tinkering and testing using the same battery all day and I made it maybe halfway to where I wanted to go before it died on me so didn't get a full drive in but today was it was above zero, barely. So I took it out again, and I'm very pleased with the lock and differentials that I did. The rear one I did perfect. The second from rear axle, eh, not so good. I noticed it did slip a little bit when I was in here with it on the uh, the incline o meter. So that one has to come apart, and I have to pack it full of more stuff, but. It seemed pretty good once it gets out in the cold. I was driving through stuff that hung up the 803, and it wasn't even as much snow as it is now. So, I got that one. I got my lights put on it. I've got some more details on it. The 803 got the new front shock springs in it, so the front end sits up normal. So, it was just... A slightly productive weekend for me it'd be even better if I got the rest of my stuff going and then get my overland project done but I will tell you I'm using a new medium I've never used before and I didn't get enough and I pretty much screwed up the first time so waiting for some more and that is about it everyone so Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for viewing. Ho hope that answered your question. Hello, RC. You can get after me again if you have any other questions. Anyone else, if you have any questions, let me know. You know I answer every comment. You know I like you guys to give me things that make me scratch my head. Until next time.